So I started my motorcycle journey back in 2015. I was quite came late to the scene. I had some time off from work and I thought, right, let's just get it done. So I did my CBT, did my A1 license, uh, then I did my A2 license and I did these all in a week course and then ended up buying the bike I did my training on, a uh, Honda CBR600F. I stuck with Honda and upgraded to this more sportier CBR600F. Next came my Ducati Love and I thought, you know what, why not? Let's double up the engine compared to what I already have. Spoke to Ducati dealer, ended up with this 1299 Panigale. And what a bike this is. Uh, absolutely love this. Took it everywhere, up and down the country. Um, and here's a clip of it. So the Ducati was horrible to ride and I, at that time I didn't really have the experience so I, I took a test ride on a, on the Yamaha and I actually bought the MT-10 and it was such a great bike, I loved that bike, changed it to red because I love red, took it everywhere that I wanted to go, even did some UK track days and even decided to chuck it on the dyno. <laughs> And even did my first Euro event on it in Spain, Almeria. Great weather, great track. Loved it, had a bit of a laugh, a bit of a boys holiday piss up. Um, some great memories with the bikes um, and the boys, can't complain. But then tragedy, had a crash, smashed his car up, smashed myself up, smashed the bike up, had to go to hospital. I was all right, luckily, and then it was time for a pit stop in my biking. So I didn't know what to get after the accident. I wanted to try different engines and I wanted something comfy, so I ended up with a Tuono 1100 V4 factory. Converted that to track. And then actually got it set up for track. one of the best engine sounds ever. Beautiful. How lovely does that sound? After this I didn't know whether to get a track or street bike and ended up getting this fully kitted R1 which I did track days again dedicated only for track. Did some track days with the lads. And then thought, let's truly test it out in Magello. Why not, eh? carried away with myself crashing but we managed to repair and fix it and get back out and enjoy what was left on the holiday I thought why not tart it up get a bespoke job done on it and then get back on the track again that's where we are problem was I wasn't enjoying myself on track it wasn't fun to ride um, so I tried to get rid of it try different on the bikes even got a little Honda monkey to piss around on So as soon as I saw the hyper, I just ordered it, got it, and now the rest is history. I've done a lot of work to it, and I love this bike to bits. And even gone down the route of a two bike garage and got myself an R6 track bike. So happy days. <laughs>